But yeah, but down here, done made it to the park. About to walk inside. And these tickets were gifted. So shout out to that. But walking out to gate three, could kind of hear music in the background already. So it sound like they jamming right now, but you know me, I'm not trying to get copyrighted right now. But if I have to, you know, play play some B-roll, I'll play some B-roll, but we are not going to get copyrighted at all. But it look kind of dope. You can see up there, they got some stuff set up for the fans over there. Green screen. But like they even got batting cages over there. So it's looking kind of dope so far. So let, let, let's see what happens on this fan fest. See what they talking about. They over here playing Boogie Wonderland. Like, what's up with that? <laughs> but yeah, but started to be down here. It's a beautiful day in Miami. Good vibes, good energy, you know. Type vibe. All right, so we inside, they got a feel for the youth, for the kids. And then they got a nice setup over here. It looks kind of dope, the artwork. Got a lemonade stand over there. But they are playing this music. <laughs> and I am not trying to get copyrighted. But I'm gonna show as much, much as I can. They got some giant pong over here as well. And they look like they got games for the kids. A lot of sponsors, Florida Blue, Loya. Delta Dental is over here. You can kind of see him over there. Dick Sporting Goods. But yeah, the fan fest is looking, looking kind of dope so far. They got some free prizes that look like you can win. Y100 Miami is here as well. But yeah, the stadium is looking pretty, pretty good for fan fest. Good vibes, good energy so far. See if I can win some prizes or get, get some free stuff. And we'll go from there. But it's definitely some good vibes so far. See the production crew back there. That's gonna be me soon, soon enough. It look like they gonna have a live band over there as well. But yeah, we over here. See the Y100 tent. The Fox Sports Radio 940. What's up, Dad? You giving away anything free over here? Yeah, I go through the line. Got to go through the whole line? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man Fest. So wait in line for one of the vendors. You got 94.9. You got 940 AM. Where they got the Fox Sports Radio. And then the Y100. Just waiting in line. But, yeah. Just stay on. Man, Miami feels beautiful right now. And it sounds like they're gonna start singing at the stadium. I mean, on the stage. But yeah, Fan Fest look kind of kind of dope so far. But how's everybody day going so far? Let me know. It's a Friday for me right now. Vlogging this. Gonna try to get this uploaded tonight. If not, I'll get this uploaded on Saturday tomorrow. One love. All right, so I think it's my turn. So just spin the wheel. Hi, you spin it. Let's see. Perfect. Okay, let's go. Let's see. They need a table prize. Table Hopefully prize. Hopefully, I get a table prize. Oh, oh. but you got the two. That so what? Anything from this table or the other one or the other one? Something. Okay, only one thing. One thing. Okay. So you got earbuds here. I go the Airbus route. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go the Airbus. Go Airbus, thank you. Woo. All right, so I ended up picking up some Airbus. I think I got that right, Airbus. I ended up getting those free, the Airbus. Hopefully these not like the gas station ones that that don't be working after after like five seconds. But I got me some earbuds, free. But yeah, hopefully that music in the background don't get me caught copyrighted. But they jamming over there.
our song that we just finished right now, En La Playa Hirong. Kind of dope. Now we're going to do Viva Tiago. And they got the batting cages set up over here. Batting cages set up over here. Seem like more things to do. When we went to the Goya, we went to the Florida Blue. And I heard a little bit of the band already. So I think I made vibe. I, I did see that they had a store inside there. Check, check that out before we go all the way inside. Yeah, but this is a dope event for Miami Marlins. I know like the Dolphins do something similar before the game start, but this is pretty cool, cool to see. You know, besides the music blazing, everything is good Gucci so far though. Enjoying myself. Got a little fiddles. We got, got some discounts here and there. You know, but about to go check out and see what they got inside the team store. See if there's anything in there I'll buy. Into the team store. Let's see what they have in the team store. Where it's not as much music. Yeah. Oh, this kind of dope. Even though it don't get this cold down here though, but so this would be a part of the Cooperstown. And they got the old school colors. Throwback logo. Looking kind of nice. I miss this color. I'm gonna have to check this jacket out, bro. This is pretty, pretty cool. Not a bad price. And they got like workout shirts over there. This would be dope for fishing. So fishing or just being outside in general. That's the only thing with South Florida. They can have their jackets, but it really does not get that cold here for like some for me to wear something like this has to be a special occasion. Yeah, so some things are priced half off, so that's dope to see. But yeah, some of these shirts look kind of nice though. Seems like the Miami Marlins then stepped up their apparel, what they had going on, but that till you can't get past that till. Cannot get past that too. Oh, so they even got some polos. You want to dress it up and get you some polos. See with the logo on there. Which that's the updated logo there. Then for the people who be on the South Beach vibe, boat vibes. Got some stuff there. Foam finger. I ain't gonna lie, now these shorts kind of hitting though on some, on some stuff. I don't know if these swim trunks or not. Yeah, those shorts kind of nice. I like those shorts. And then you got this. That's kind of nice. Mm, okay, okay. This kind of look. Oh, this like a windbreaker. Not, not, not too bad. But yeah, I like the material on this. This material is kind of good though. Not bad, badly priced either. But yeah, they, Martin's got some got some gear inside here though. I'm actually excited. Definitely need to try to catch a game this year. Again, watching baseball is pretty dope. Cause you get to see the matchup between the pitcher and the hitter. To me, that matchup is just crazy, dog. Watching that mind game go on all day. But I do like this shirt. Hold up, best dad ever. You get that to my pops. Oh, they got the MIA joint right there. And you see this one, they got the 10 year anniversary joint. Pretty cool, then they got some hats. I've never seen this Marlins hat before. It's kind of like Miami Dolphins colors. We got some of the players. I think he's like the starting pitcher or something, if I'm not mistaken. 
Yeah, they have some dope gear. It looks like you get your stuff customized as well. Then you get stuff for the youth section. <coughs> yep, not, not bad at all. Some dope things. Magic City there. You got Miami Marlins baseball there. Pretty dope. I know that music was blasting earlier, but I can't do nothing about that music blasting, man. The audio engineer that just had it pumping. But I think now we're going to try to go inside the actual park. See All right, get ready to go up the escalator, see what they got going on inside the stadium. So I'm excited for that. Let's see what they got going on. About to go up the escalator. Now. Let's see what they got And this is normally the route to go to home plate. I normally like sitting like right behind the home plate when I do come to these games. All right, now we are inside Marlins Park, as you see. Home of the 1997-2003 World Series champions. Those were some legendary Marlins squads, man. Hopefully we can find lightning in a bottle again and win another World Series, as I mentioned before, though. but. Fan Fest so far has been dope. Gonna walk, walk around, see what they got. Festivities seem like there's a lot of vendors here. So, seem like there's vendors everywhere. And it also seems like all of the, all of the food places are here as well. Like they're open. Yeah. And we're gonna find a good, good seat to sit down. But just checking out to see what vendors are here so far. I don't see much so far. Seems like just regular food vendors. Get you some tenders and fries. Type vibe. And then there goes another team store. We already went to the one downstairs. But I may have to stop by this cheesesteak spot. If you don't know, the Philadelphia Eagles is one of my favorite teams, and I enjoy a Philly cheesesteak when I can. But they seem to have a Philly cheesesteak type spot, and it seems like it's the guys from Dave Portnoy part in my cheesesteak. I may have to get me a cheesesteak. I don't know. Because I was debating on the spot I was going to eat at after this event, but we 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 gonna see how everything work works out though, but yeah, but definitely excited to be here. So many Marlins fans here. It looks like they're starting to do stuff down there by by the home plate. By zoom in. Yeah. Like this event is supposed to last to ten o'clock. I don't think I'm going to last until 10 o'clock though, being here, but it's supposed to last until 10, 10 o'clock. So we're going to see how long we can stay out here. I at least do want to catch the fireworks. Fireworks supposed to happen like around 8.30. But yeah, let, let's see. Yeah, just walking through the vendors, seeing what they have here. Seems like they got like some VIP tables there set up. And they got like an activity map for the fan fest. So you can see where everything is. Zoom in a little bit. But I'm about to go check this side first. See if I see anything cool to do or any fun activation. If I don't see one, we about to just find some good seats and relax. And see what they got going on here though. But Yup. Oh look, they even got the walk them home to the home, Lone Depot Park right there. Oh, they got some smash burgers. Hold up. The whole place. Okay, they trying to make me rethink what I was going to do after this, but I did not know they had smash burgers here. And for some reason, 
I've been on a smash burger kick lately, so I gotta figure out what's going on there when my body wants ground beef, but I did not know they had smash burgers here at Marlins Park. They done definitely up the food quality here because the last couple of times I used to be here, they ain't had that here, you feel me? At all. Man, this stadium is so beautiful, man. Especially when the when the roof is open. I don't think there's a better stadium out than, than this stadium right here. Real, real, real good. They got the DJ right here on the ones and twos, he vibing. But you're not about to get me with that copyright because I'm going to talk right over this. But they definitely are vibing. But this stadium is so beautiful, man. I'm mad they tore down the Orange Bowl for this, but what they built in place of it, right next to Miami Airport, Miami International Airport, but what they put in place of this is so beautiful. Like, look at this stadium. So nice, man. Yeah, just walking through the stadium, just taking a lap through the stadium. Good vibes. They got the music going. Get you some liquor. Some good vibes going. You get some ice cream over here. Again, like I said, this stadium is dope, man. Good vibes, good energy. I just wish the Marlins played a lot better, man. Or at least was like consistent. Like, I would be fine if the Marlins was at least consistent, like the Miami Heat have been recently, like the last three, four year run for the Miami Heat, like East champions or in playing it for that chance to go play for a cha championship. Like, if you look at from the bubble or COVID to now, like, the Heat been on fire. You know, they've been overachieving. So, I just wish this Marlins team would start overachieving the next four years. That'll be really dope if that can happen, though. Oh, look, they got a little joint Billy's Boathouse. Take some pictures. Get some dope pictures in. It's pretty cool. We got the old school pac man but they're not working Galaxy Edge. Pretty dope. Oh, and see, and they moved the Bobblehead Museum. This used to be as soon as you come off. You used to have the Bobblehead Museum there. But it seemed like they moved it. They got some legends here, though. Some legends. Mike Lowe. Old school legend, Mike Lowe. Hanley Ramirez, that used to be my guy right there, Hanley Ramirez. Oh, Chris Coughlin, he won us so many games. Cody Ross won us some games as well. This perfectly dope. Bobblehead Museum. All right, I'm walking down. I've been walking around the park all day. I'm about to sit down for a little minute, relax. Little minute. Like they're interviewing one of the players right now. Oh yeah, and I finally ended up getting a tote bag. Got two free tote bags. But they're just showing the interview right now. Yeah, man, it's really nice weather on a Friday. Thank God for that. Good vibes, good energy. You guys made it this far in the video, man. I pray that God answers all your prayers, man, and everything happens for you that you need to happen in your life. Pray everything works out for you. You know, just keep going, keep striving. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up at all. Keep going. It can be achieved. 
your goals and ambitions, make them higher. Set the bar higher. But yeah, but just enjoying this Miami weather. They got the roof open at Martin's Park. Always dope vibe. And as y'all see, this is where I like to sit, either on this side or the left side. Because from here, you get to see what the picture is doing from here. So that picture hitter, that mind game that's happening, every pitch, every pitch count, I love to watch that game. Especially with a really good hitter. But yeah. But this is so far my Miami Marlins fan fest experience so far. As more things happen, I'll pull out the camera. But I don't want to keep boring you guys with, you know, kind of boring footage, but this is what I have so far. But definitely enjoyable. They got packages going on. You get a 20 game package, you get a full season package, and then they also have the single game tickets with no fees right now. So, a bunch of good deals. I definitely want to catch a couple of Marlins games this year. So, I may look into that 20 game package. If anything, I will definitely try to get a single game. I definitely want to go to a couple of games this year. But these drunken news in the background over there, they are drowning me out. Hope you guys can still hear me.
Sunday Funday, back in dash giveaways. We get into that. So we're trying new things. Mystery jerseys, the first time we did it last year. Team Chimona with success. Here's my problem. The first edition of Mystery Jerseys. Seven. We're going to showcase right here. Happy so we've got two different player, player jerseys. And shout out to our creative team. Two different versions on that first weekend. We're going to have a uniquely curated Jake Burger Nashville inspired jersey. That's one of the mysteries that'll be given away. And then the other one, if you don't get the burger one, we're going to get the Jazz Chisholm alien themed jersey. So these are lovely opening bags. This is going to be one of our mystery jersey giveaways. Very special, unique design. Make sure you check the calendar for that date. And something that's popular around the league is cross-sport promotion. Baseball teams working with their local basketball teams or their local hockey teams. So we're, we're going to do the first ever Miami Martins basketball jersey in Legacy Red. That's one of our giveaways in April. So that will be popular with you guys. Presented by ADT. That will be the giveaway in April. One of our giveaways. We're also going to be doing Soccer jersey coming up in later in the summer. We're doing a tropical shirt with a Billy Lamar and theme, a bunch of other cool things along with bottle events, which we've got the list in our market schedules. So every Sunday, there'll be a giveaway, and I hope to see you guys here tomorrow. Okay, next time we check all these ticket offers. How many ticket offers do we have this year? I think that's the home of baseball, right? We want to be sure that our doors are open to you.
Before my uh, battery fully dies, this is me ending this vlog. Miami Marlins Fan Fest was a dope experience. Please go out and catch a game this year. They got very affordable packages that you can definitely ca catch a game. The Friday seems like it's going to be dope. They're making the Sundays. They, they have something for you to do, especially on the weekends. Then they have family friend friendly packages for you guys to afford. They still have the 444 going on. So ch check them out, MiamiMartins.com. Go see a game this year. But thank you guys for watching this video. It's greatly appreciated. And I pray you guys have a wonderful day or night, depending on the time you're watching this video. One love.